All right, hey guys, remember CCG back in the video. With this video, we're going over some new Red Dragon Archfiend combos. So Red Dragon Archfiend got a new structure deck, and we just got the final card, which was Crimson Gaia. And now I just wanted to go over some combos that I think you'd, you're going to want to know uh, if you're going to go into uh, this new version of Red Dragon Archfiend here. So we're going to get started here. This is a one card combo using Crimson Gaia. So I'm going to use Crimson Gaia's effect here in order to add the Soul Resonator. Use Soul Resonator's effect here. In order to search out our Bone Archfiend, then we can use Bone Archfiend in order to send a card from our field to the grave, and in order to special summon itself, itself out. So we're gonna summon, we're gonna get rid of the Crimson Gaia in order to get Bone Archfiend. Then we can reduce the level of Soul Resonator by ditching a card into the grave. So here I decided to ditch the Crimson Resonator, and now with Red Rising Dragon, I'm I'm gonna be able to bring out the Crimson Resonator. And since I control only one Synchro uh, Dark Dragon monster, I can actually use uh, Crimson Resonators effect here in order to get two more Resonators from my from my deck. And now we're going to get the new Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. And we can actually use uh, Vision Resonator here in order to search out the red zone. Then we can Synchro Summon into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. We can use Scar Red Dragon Archfiend's effect in order to get out a uh, Dra Red Dragon Archfiend monster from our deck. And uh, yeah, it counts as a Synchro Summon, which is really nice as well. And we can also add the Vision Resonator to our hand, special summon, its, uh, special summon it out using its own effect. Then we can get Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane out. Use Bane's effect in order to get rid of the other monster in order to bring out Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. So here, it's a pretty simple combo. Nothing too crazy here. We're going to be building on this. But here, we have Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, which was basically not going to do anything here. It's just going to be, it was just your way of getting out your Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. Then we have Hot, Dra Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. This is going to be your way of actually imperming one of your opponent's cards here. And then uh, here we have Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. That uh, if this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can special summon one Red Dragon Archfiend from your extra deck. And it is treated as a synchro summon. So you'll be able to use this during your opponent's turn once they get rid of this card. And uh, you also have the red zone here. So if your opponent happens to activate a card or effect while you control Red Dragon Archfiend. Then you can actually target one card in the field and destroy it. So there's ways of utilizing red zone beyond this. Once you see when uh, we're going to start banishing monsters here. And be able to use this to actually bring them back. But now let's go to the two card combo. Alright guys, so this is the two card combo. This is using Crimson Gaia and Crimson Resonator. So we're going to use Crimson Gaia here in order to add ourselves a Soul Resonator. Then we can use Crimson Resonator's effect in order to special summon itself out. So Resonator here can then search out our Bone Archfiend. So you can see Bone Archfiend is really important here. And these are just the new cards that are uh, you're going to be using here for the new combos. Use Bone Archfiend. Same thing as I did before. But this time we're going to actually pitch this uh, Obsessive Uva Loop. This is just a really good card that we're going to be using for banishing cards in order to utilize Red Zone. And the new, uh, or the Bisted uh, Synchro Monster here. Then we're going to use Red Rising Dragon in order to get ourselves the Crimson Resonator. And since now we control Synchro Dark Dragon, then we can actually use the Crimson Resonator's effect in order to get these two out. Then from here, we can Synchro Summon into our Bestial this pattern. And use Scar Red Dragon's effect. So this is what we did last time. We get our Red Dragon Archfiend and search out the red zone. Then we can Synchro Summon into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Add the Vision Resonator back to our hand. Then we can actually uh, banish, so using Obsessive Uva Loop, we're able to banish the Red, Red, Red Rising Dragon in order to add it back to our hand. And that's important because now we can use Bistio this pattern in order to special summon out the, uh, Bist, uh, the Red Rising Dragon. Then we can Synchro Summon into our Void Ogre Dragon. Then from there we can Synchro Summon out uh, our Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. So here we're going to banish the Void, o Dragon, Void Ogre Dragon in order to get out Obsessive Uva Loop. And that gives us the target to, uh, to tribute here using Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. And then here we can get our Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. So you can see what, once uh, our opponent does whatever they decide to do, we can actually use Red Zone here in order to add the Void Ogre Dragon. So this is a pretty simple setup here. And uh, it's a two card combo that does quite a bit. And uh, Void Ogre Dragon, you can change this out for a different card. This is just perfect if you happen to have other cards that you can just set down or that uh, you have a way of like putting them onto the board beyond this, then this is great. Because you're going to want to make sure that you have no cards in your hands so that you're actually able to negate a spell or trap. As uh, this deck can struggle to get some of the gates up, but you do have it in the form, in the form of Void Ogre Dragon, as well as through the form of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. You're going to be able to target one face of card your opponent that controls and then negate it. 
And then we have red zone, of course, for popping a card. And then that's how we were able to get out the Void Ogre Dragon or whatever uh, dragon you decide to, dark dragon monster you decide to use as your level 8. And then we, of course, have the Scarborough Dragon Archfiend. If something if it gets removed, we can get another monster out here. So it's a two-card combo, pretty powerful. All right, guys, so this is the three-card combo. And this is using Soul Resonator, Bone Archfiend, and Crimson Resonator. So it's going to be similar to the two-card combo. It's just that here we're going to be able to draw or end with a lot more cards in our hand. So that's going to be a lot more potent here. So we're going to use Soul Resonator, add ourselves the Synchron Resonator. Then we can actually use Bone Archfiend, uh, send the Yuva Loop. Use Red Rising Dragon, bring out the Crimson Resonator. You always kind of want to go for that, just so that you, with Red, Red, Red Rising Dragon, that's the only Synchro Monster you have out. And then you can use Crimson Resonator's effect here in order to bring these two Tuner Monsters out. Then you can use Scarlet Dragon Archfiend's effect once we go Synchro Summon it. So now we were able to search out Crimson Gaia, and, and then from there we can actually uh, continue here. So we're going to get busy with this pattern, and then use Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend's effect in order to get the Red Dragon Archfiend. Synchro Summon into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. So you can see I'm going into this card a lot, just because it is one of the only cards that can actually interact during your opponent's turn. Use Synchron Resonator. So here, we're going to use Juve Love's Effect, just banish some things. Then use the Abyss Steal this pattern in order to get our Red Rising Dragon. So here we can get Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. Now I can use that in order to tribute it, in order to get ourselves the uh, Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. And yeah, you can see it's a similar setup as before, but this time we actually have two cards in our hand. So that's pretty nice to see, but of course that means that you're not going to be able to get your Void Ogre Dragon. Uh, and then during my opponent's turn, I didn't show this here, but during my opponent's turn I would have been able to bring out the Red Dragon Archfiend here. As I can target uh, one of my Banished Dark Dragon Synchro Monsters and bring it out here. So, pretty similar setup, but you can see that we have a bit more uh, cards in our hand, just in case this board ends up getting broken. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think about this new support? I think it's pretty strong. The, the deck still has a lot of the same weaknesses that it had before. It's still pretty weak to draw, and uh, a lot of it relies on Red Rising Dragon. That's a, a important like choke point for the deck, and so it struggles there. I think it's still a pretty fun, and it's cool to see new support for the deck, and I'm curious how you guys are going to innovate the deck. And um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're close to 1,000 subs, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys subscribed if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you guys next time.